Hello there, welcome to Cartooning with Paul. Today I'm going to show you how to draw Sonic the Hedgehog. So come on, let's get started. All right, guys, how are we doing with all this spare time on our hands? I haven't noticed any spare time yet. Well, guys, I'm getting requests on how to draw Sonic the Hedgehog now that the popularity is at a peak with the release of that movie. I think by now we all know the movie that you guys could have gotten. Ah! Meow. Talk about putting a tie in a turd. But you guys luckily got it on digital, so yay! So... So let's dive in on how to draw Sonic the Hedgehog. So in beginning a drawing of Sonic the Hedgehog, we've got our circle. I'm going to have him facing this way. He's going to be looking right at us. So we've got the vertical axis line right here, and then we've got the horizontal axis right here. That way we know where the eyes are going to sit and where the nose is going to come from. All right, so what we're going to do before we do anything is I'm going to establish where those eyes are, okay? All right, the eyes are going to be like that, and the snout comes out from here. It's an oval, just like that. And then from there, I'm going to give him that muzzle and cheek shape, just like so. You want to make sure that this shape right here lines up with the mouth. Even though the mouth isn't going to be reaching there, that is all part of the design. And then, I'm just going to darken in that line and this line so that there's no mistake here. Uh, we're going to give him a pose, like so. So this is his action line and his body shape is actually reversed from most cartoon character shapes. He's um, got a bigger circle here and a smaller circle here. I'm sure this is for aerodynamics in his design. Okay, usually the smaller circle goes up um, to the top of his torso. Okay, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to give him his wide stance. Now his legs are long and thin, and they get wider at the bottom. Not too wide. Okay. Then what I'll do is I'll give him his shoe shapes. And they're rounded triangles. Or if you were to look at them from the bottom of his sole, they're, they're like a, a teardrop shape. They're kind of shaped like this. So I got one here. And we'll draw one back here. Like that. He's got a design to his sneakers. It's a band across there like that. And then he has a white sole on the bottom of his sneaker. And then, he's got these really puffy socks. He was designed in the late 80s, early 90s. So he's going to have some of our old uh, fashion sense. Just like this. All right, now, hey, guess what? We're done with the bottom of this sketch. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to give him a pose where he's got his hands on his hips they're gonna be in fists so I usually start with just a rough sketch of the shape of his hands and then from there I will know so now we've got a rough drawing here for the body the upper torso the hands but we need to throw in some hedgehog-like characteristics, right? 
So we've got a tail. Comes out right here. And he has... I mean, he's a hedgehog, right? They're quills. So we've got these big groups of quills back here. And then what I like to do with Sonic is just kind of roughly do a, a shape like this first, and then I'll break it down. So the top part of the bunch of quills here is rounded. And then it comes in kind of like a shark fin like that. I'm turning the page to let my wrist do its natural curvature there. Right? And then, um, yeah, this one is correct. Um, and I'm just going to draw it in like so. You want to make sure they all kind of follow a certain shape. Uh, at one point, he's supposed to be able to twirl around into a ball. So that needs to um, geometrically work. So there we go. We've got his hair in there. He has two ears. There's one there. The other one will come out from here. Let's, uh, let's let's throw in his hands here like so. And now let's go back into this face. His nose. His nose is long and rounded, like that. But now let's give him some attitude in these eyes. So if he's looking right at us, we'll have the oval shapes here. But now, they like to give him a very serious looking um, expression here. In, in those eyes. Nothing too menacing. Because he is a likable character. He's the hero. Guys, if you like drawing this with me, please give the video a thumbs up and tell your friends about this channel. If you'd like to draw some other videos with me, I got some right here for you. I want to thank you so much for drawing with me, and until the next video, we'll see you later.